and welcome to my channel. My name is Charmaine. I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a button with my button maker. Okay, I'm very excited. I got the button maker from Amazon and I'll show you everything I got in the box and how it came after we get our image together. Okay. All right. So let's get started. As you see, I am going to be using my Cricut and I have a Cricut Explorer 2 and a Cricut Maker, but I'll be cutting with my Cricut Maker. The first thing we need to do, basically the button we need to size our our image as a 2.3, okay? So let's go ahead and go into upload. I mean, I'm sorry, let's go to shapes. And we need a circle, okay? The first thing we need to do is get a shape so we can be able to um, put our image in this shape. And I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And I'm going to um, change the shape to a, a 2.3. Okay? 2.3. Okay? And I'm also going to do a shape 2.4 because I've been playing around with this button maker and it's 2.3 which was everybody was telling me to use on face on Facebook or whatever. Everybody was using the 2.3. But for my machine, it's kind of small. So right now, I'm going to do both shapes to show you the difference to see which one would be better, okay? It's not that big of a difference between these two shapes. I think the 2.4 would be just fine. But I've done a few buttons and I will show you the buttons in a minute after I finish getting our image. I'll show you the buttons. And I'm so I can show you why I'm choosing a 2.4 also, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and while I'm on the video with y'all and play with it. Okay, we're just gonna do I'm try to do three images or two. Um, I'll do another one just in, let me do another 2.4 just in I'm gonna do two 2.3s and two 2.4s. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and copy, duplicate this right here. You get to duplicate it right here by clicking the right button on your mouse. Or you can duplicate it over here by clicking on it and then pushing duplicate over here on the right. Okay? So now we have two 2.4s and then we have two 2.3s. Okay? So now let me go ahead and find my image. So I go ahead and upload. And I'm just going to find some upload, um, images that I already found. Well, my son wanted to make this for him. So I'm going to go ahead and get this image. Um, these are images I already did already. already done. I'm going to do this one again. And that one. And as you see, I was thinking about the 2.3. The 2.3 probably be better because if I do do a... The reason why I was going to get a 2.4 because the, the edges will go behind. I mean, on the, it'll go on the side of the button. And this won't be right because if I do that, it's going to go on the... The word's going to be out. So it depends on what picture you're going to be using for your... What image you're going to be using for your button to, it, to tell you what size you need. Okay, so as you can see... This would not be a good one because basically this is going to flip over unless I just make it a little smaller, which would be fine. But I'm going to turn this to white, okay? Make that white. Make that white. And then, that'd be, and then that's fine. If I can just make the just make the words a little bit smaller. So when you do put this on the button, this part right here will go on the side so it won't cut off the letters. Do a little bit more. Okay, so yeah, this, I think 2.4 would be the best bet because I was struggling trying to make that 2.3 fit. So I think I'm gonna go with that. So here's one right here. And then I'm gonna do this for my son. Make this white also. Let's see how it look on black. That looks good. Put that on this white for him. So I guess it's something with Fortnite. He asked me, he's been bugging me. He want a mouse pad with this on it too. So I gotta do that for him too. <laughs> okay, so um and then also if you want to center this, just basically go ahead and um, highlight the whole thing and go to arrange. I mean, go to align and go to center. And then the center right, even though that don't look center to me, I don't like it like that. So I just put it, pull it down some, okay? Sometimes it'll just be off. Okay, so that's fine. Like that. This one is centered the way I want it. Let's try to find another image. Um, let me go ahead and do this one again because I did this one and it was too small. So I'm gonna make this one with the bigger circle. So make this white. I just went, I made this one this. Okay, just basically just put in the circle and just size it up to your liking. Okay. I think I like it like that. I'm gonna put this one, make this one white. 
I'm gonna go ahead and throw this down here because um I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be using this 2.4. I'm, I'm gonna duplicate this just by clicking on that on that logo because I need to make some more of these anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that and put it over here because when I made this, it was too small for the buttons. It wouldn't fit. And I made the same size as all the other ones. So try with this bigger size and it should work. Okay. So let's do that. And now what you have to do, you have to flatten the image because if you don't flatten it, um, Cricut will print it out two different pieces. Okay, so go ahead and um, highlight it. Flatten one by one. Flatten this one. Highlight it. Flatten it. Highlight the I might not be able to do this because it's too close together. Make sure the other image is not close together when you're um, flattening it. So that goes right there. Flatten it. Okay, and then this is the last one. It's going to be hard to see the white circle because it's white background. I'm going to flatten this and I can show you. If you want to be able to see the circle again, you basically just go to here and just go ahead and click on the, so it can be all white. You go at the bottom and you push the blank, cam blank canvas. You go up to here to color to change the background of your canvas. You can make it any color you want. I'm going to just make it black. So now you can see the circle is much better, okay? When you, whenever you're using white or you want to change the background, like for instance, if you're doing a shirt and you want to see how this image will look right, how this image will look on a shirt, on a black shirt, and you basically just change your canvas to black so you can be able to see how this image looks on a black shirt or whatever, or, or whatever you using, okay? Okay, so here's our circles. This is a 2.3, 2.3, and these both are, oh, I want this to be a 2.4. It must have changed on accident, 2.4. So that's good. You always check your sizes before you print because I've been, I thought I changed it and then it's, it's not changed and not get up and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's not changed. And the reason why it's messing up because you got to unlock it first. So before you change your size, unlock it first because it's going to keep on messing up. You go up here and click what you want to have it on. So it's 2.4, 2.4 and then enter. Okay. So now I have my 2.4 circle. That looks kind of awkward. No, it looks kind of overly. Yeah, that looks kind of overly. I don't like that's not gonna work on that. Let me see. Let me just do one, two point four. Shoot, 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 shoot. Two point four and two point three four four. Okay, we're gonna see how this works, y'all. Okay, so now what we need to do is basically go to make it where everything is flattened. And see, now I have four circles. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and print it, send it to, go push continue. You don't have to mirror this because we're not putting heat on it. You only use mirror, you only mirror your images when you put heat on it, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and um, I, I keep my bleed on because the bleed on, with the, it, it basically spread the ink out some. And it's good for the circles because it be able to, be able to cover more of the, of the circle, okay? I'm going to go ahead and push send the printer. And then I have my printer set up right here. I have um pigment ink in my printer. I'm just plugging in my printer right now. Got to get my Wi-Fi stuff together, y'all. Right now I'm plugging up stuff. Okay, so now I keep my bleed on. And then I go ahead and now I use, make sure you figure out what paper you want to use. I use Cricut on my Cricut maker. It says, let me show you. I don't know if you it tells me I have to use the 20, I think it's 25 pound paper. I was using some other paper to cut it and it wouldn't, it would just mess up the paper, it would eat up the paper. So I'm just make sure you have, you're using, I think it's like 25 pound paper. I'll show you in a minute after this prints. I like the Cricut Maker because this pops up every time before you cut. But with the Cricut Explore Air 2, it doesn't. And sometimes you can get mixed up and you can print the, um, have the wrong settings and then mess up your products, okay, or images. But on here, every time you cut, this pops up, so I love that. So here's, you have to make sure your copy paper is at least 20 pounds because I was using some cheap paper, and the maker just eats up the paper. So make sure it's at least 20 pounds, okay? So I go ahead and print, push that, and, um, and I just go ahead and let it cut. This is the button maker. I hope you can see it well. Um, This is how it looks. Okay. I'll get back here soon. Okay, this is how it looks. This is the side. <laughs> this is the front. And it was really easy to put together. Um, it's basically this thing slide off. Let me show you. See? 
see these two screws right here just put these two screws in here to um, hook the base to this red part right here just two screws that was it to get you an Allen wrench to go with it and the two screws and then um you got to basically screw this handle in it's a long pole you just basically screw it with your hand just like this just screw it in this is the pole and just basically screw it into this right here it was so easy to do y'all and then you just basically push this in here like this my, my arm is going basically screw put this in here like this lift this up this has got like a little latch back there and then you just put this little piece in there and that's it it was so easy to do y'all if i could do it you could do it just like i said to give you the other wrench and the two screws and bat out there it is let me show you what what it came with real quick it came with a whole lot of stuff y'all it came with all of these these are the backs i'll show you in a minute came with all of these plus another bag full of those so two bags of these it's over a thousand little back clips and it has the little um i'll show you in a minute how it looks it came with all the all of these came with the little instructions to put it in put it, how to put it together and how to use it so that came with it okay and it also came with like a little cutter a circle cutter but i don't use the circle cutter but it also came with a circle cutter sorry <laughs> came with the little um little plastic thing the little i think i can't think what they call but this is what covers the picture your image okay i'm gonna put a couple of them out there so i can use those before them they're real thin and then they oh this is really heavy this came with the metal parts the metal pieces okay you put four of these out, of, out here too okay so that what came with it you can always order more when you run out but you're going to believe me, you're going to mess up a couple of them before you, when you start, because I did. But it's, it's so simple. You just got to get used to it. Okay, let's turn back. Let me show you again real quick the image. So you see my mat is kind of janky, kind of dirty. So I just put some painter's tape on the side to hold it in place. And now it should come right off. I cut it with um, regular copy paper. Make sure it's 24 pound copy paper. You don't want that thin, cheap stuff because it'll be quicker to eat it up. Okay, there it is. What I do, I just bend the mat like this and it pop right off. Okay. So try not to have your mat real sticky when you're using paper. That's the reason why I'm using this right here because it's kind of dull. Because you don't want to use a strong mat with paper because it will tell your paper when you pull it off. So that's the reason I use these old mats with paper. Okay, let's go. Let's get started. This, this video will be so short. It's so easy to do. So let's go ahead and put the camera down so you can see it. So what basically, you need to do first is start on this side, um, which is the um right side. Come if, if I'm standing behind it, it's my right side. Okay, so basically, I just put first. You need to put in this little silver thing. Make sure the sharpie thing, the sharp, the mouth goes in. So make sure it's going inside. So you can see that how that's going in there. Okay. And then you put the image. Remember I said this is a 2.4 image, which I think it's gonna fit much better than the other one. It's still kind of small. So I put it on top of there like that. And you put this plastic thing over it and that fits right, it's perfectly on top. Okay. Sorry, this machine is kind of awkward. So that's why I move my camera around. But there it is right there. But then you basically scoot it over. So it can be right here. Okay. And then you just push down okay there you have it now you see it disappears it's not there anymore right but before you bring it over here you put the little white thing in here make sure this part this is the um pin make sure it's facing down okay make sure it's even push it over okay and there we have it and i think it's just this image because see how I was telling you, this is the bigger one, the bigger size paper, this bigger circle, and you still see the silver around there, okay? So I think it's this image because we, I printed this out a couple times before and then it did the same thing, but you got to make sure it's really centered, okay? But it's the perfect button, okay? Look at that. And this is the back. So let me do another one. I'm going to do the other image, and I'm going to show you the reason why I did a bigger um, piece of paper because the silver is still showing, but this is just the image because... I'm gonna show you the other buttons I made and it didn't do this. Uh, it's just this image. <laughs> I don't know what's the problem with it. 
Okay, so let's do one more. So you basically just put this in first, down like this. Put the image down. Put the little plastic thing over it. It's not, you know. I'm sorry, I don't know the, the direct terminology for these pieces. Then you go ahead and push it over. Okay. Then you put this um pin down. Then I go ahead and bring it down. And I'm trying. I'm doing it soft because I have my camera on the table, and if I don't hold my camera, it's gonna fall. So that's why I do it twice. You really don't do it that hard. But I'm just doing it like this because I have my camera. So then I just go ahead and do that right here. Make sure it goes all the way down. Give it a little strength. It's not. It don't. It's not that hard to do, y'all. Really, I'm just doing a lot because I need a little oomph because of my camera. That's all. There we have it. Nice. See, that fit perfect. So this 2.3 fit perfect, y'all. I think it's just this image that I, I made. This one, it looks smaller. Because see how it's not touching. It's, it's basically showing the silver. But this is a 2.3. It's a 2.4. So just use a 2.3 if you use, if you get this one from Amazon. And I'll put the link down below. Okay. I'm going to do one last one, my sons, Because they want me to do this one for him. And this is a 2.3 also. So I'm going to go ahead and put, do, just scoot it over. Put it inside there. Make sure it's straight. Then put it down on top. Just make sure your um, image is covering that circle that you put in there. I'm going to go ahead and bring it over. So one move. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. And this, I'm gonna let you know. I don't like, I do not like buying stuff from Amazon because this machine is really not right. Okay, people have bought this machine. They said it was fine, but I haven't bought a heat press from Amazon, and, has, and, and it broke. Well, I brought a mug press from Amazon, and after 30 days, it, it went. It's, it's no good. And I said I'm not buy any more things like stuff like this from Amazon. I bought this, and look at this. I just got it yesterday. It's all scratched up right here. And it also gets caught back here. You see how we're moving this stuff around? You're not supposed to be moving this stuff around. It's not supposed to be getting caught. So I, I contact the seller so I get another one. So it's like I just have bad luck with Amazon. I do not know why, but I do have bad luck with Amazon. That's why you see me playing around with it because it gets caught back here. And it's not supposed to get caught back here. So, yeah, I'm take, I'm trying to get, I'm gonna get another one. But I still want to show you all this video. But it still works. But I can see it's not. It's giving me a little bit of a hard time. When I first opened it, I'm like, are you kidding me? I was, getting, I was having a lot of issues with it. See, like right now, it's not... It didn't work. Oh, I got to put the thing in there. <laughs> so, um, I was having a lot of issues with it. But yeah, don't forget to put, not to put the thing in there, y'all. So, I'll just take this out. And do it again. I can still do it again. Throw this one out. I'm talking to y'all and I messed up. I'm sorry. So, let's just do it over real quick. But yeah, I contacted the seller. Hopefully, they'll send me another one out. Because... It's, it's, it gave me problems. It gave me a couple problems. But it's so easy to use, y'all. I'll just be getting the lemons, I guess. Because my heat press went out within 30 days. And then they told me I called to get the warranty. I mean, I tried to get the warranty. They said it was too late. See, even right now, I have to move this over so it can match up. Okay. So I'm going to make sure I put this in here now. Straighten it out. And make sure make sure it's not it's disappeared. It's inside of here. Okay. And I just basically bring it on down. Okay. And there we have it. My son has a button. See how that fit perfectly? Okay. That was a quick and easy video. Let me show you the other ones that I made. I made these. This is pretty. Ooh, my stomach around <laughs> My ring light is in the way. But I made this. Um... This one, okay, breast cancer awareness. Black history, a few of my Greek um, sorority sayings. You can see that. 
um, another breast cancer, Black History Month. And I think that's it, y'all. Oh, a liter. It is so thick, son, folks. They, son, these are so fun to make, okay? Like I said, this is, I used the, um, it's 2.3 size, but I will link it below so you can know exactly which one I got. Hopefully you get the, get a nice one that's not effective like mine is. But, um, please check out my website, www.charminggalboutique.com. If you don't want to um, make your own, I can design them for you. Also, I'm not looking in the camera the right way. Also, check out my Facebook group. That's called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. Um, we do a lot of things in that in that group. So check us out. And I can really help you out with your little crafting needs. Also, check out my sublimation group. It's called Sublimation Blanks and Creations. And I also sell sublimation blanks on that page and on my website. Also, I'm gonna link some some link. I'm gonna put some links below of where you can get this nice clip art. Um, if you do purchase anything from the clip art website or from the Amazon links below, I will get a certain percentage from that with no extra cost from you. And that really helped my, my channel. Thank you so much for um, supporting my channel and subscribing. Please subscribe and hit the red bell so you can be able to be notified when I upload new videos. I upload videos like twice a week. So thanks for watching. Until next time, be blessed.